All right, team. So this video is in response to an email question I've received a few times now asking how to take the average of a set of numbers without including the zeros. And there's an easy solution for this, but first let's look at the average formula, which works very well and will never include blanks as zeros. But if you paste the formula over, and we can do that with control R, you'll note that it includes the zeros as any proper calculation should. And by the way, these dashes are just the accounting format for zero. So how can we avoid that problem? Well, the answer is to use average if, then include the range above, and then we'll provide criteria, and to exclude all zeros, enter a quote, the sign for less than, and the sign for greater than, and then a zero, and close the quote. Close paren, and hit enter. And you'll notice that now your average excludes the zeros, and is equivalent to the first average we took. And one last comment before I wrap this up. If you highlight a range of cells, Excel will automatically tell you the average, the count, and the sum in the lower right-hand corner. All right, guys, that's it. I know it was quick and easy. Just getting back to emails.